Greetings! I am Anthony L. Elmore, President and founder of the Proud Black Buddhist World Association. With the Proud Black Buddhist World Association are not only the Black Buddhist Voice in America, we are the Black Buddhist Voice in the world. And those of you who saw my last video, we have a special guest all the way from the area outside of New Delhi, India. This is a Black Buddhist Dalit. Now the Dalits are the Black Untouchables of India, and we have our, our special guest, Dr. Rajiv Kumar. How you doing, Dr. Kumar? I'm great. Well, look, it is so great to have you here. Dr. Kumar, as an untouchable or a black Buddhist from India, came to America to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. And we're having him to honor the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King for Dr. Martin Luther King's 50th anniversary. He was brutally assassinated in this right here in Memphis on April the 4th, 1968. Now, Dr. Martin Luther King's last speech was here in Memphis at a temple that was called Mason Temple. And his last speech was on April the 3rd, 1968. And Dr. Kumar, we are honoring Dr. King by bringing the Dalits and the African Americans together. And you're here to honor Dr. King. We're honoring Dr. King's 50th anniversary. So what we're going to do, we're going to take you to a special visit to Mason Temple Church. We're going to bring the Dalits and the African Americans together. And that's what we're doing. So Dr. Kumar, Let's welcome, let's let everybody go see us, go to Mason Temple, and we're bringing our black history, culture, and language to Buddhism. See you at Mason Temple in just a few minutes. This is Anthony Alp Elmore. I'm at the famous Mason Temple on the very pulpit that Dr. Martin Luther King did his last speech on April the 3rd, 1968, what Dr. King says, I've been to the mountaintop. I'm here with Dr. Rajiv Kumar. Hello, Dr. Kumar. Talk loud. How do you feel being here with Dr. King made his last speech? Great. This place, this place inspired the whole world. The place inspired the whole world. This is so wonderful to be a part of history. And we want to let the dollar people that that historically it was Dr. Rajiv Kumar who came all the way from India to honor Dr. King. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. If I lived in China or even Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. And so just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there 
there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord.